Hello again. In this video I am going to demonstrate how to use the PDF viewer. We will also set up some one-touch objects to display a specific PDF page. This can be used to add help files to your project and we will also create a user level setup page to add multiple PDFs to your one-touch system. So let's get started. In the interest of time, I went ahead and made a project ahead of time. In order to view PDFs, there's a couple of elements you need to have in place. From the Object tab, under Media, you can find the PDF Reader. And uh, I've got one made here already. First, you need to define the location of the PDF files you want to read and in this case we're using the USB disk. You need to define a file path register. Now I like to use retentive internal registers and um, we're reading a length of 20 words. It's RW50. And then uh, we also have a page control option that you can select. And in this case I'm using RW100 and uh, you can see there's a little table here that shows what these registers represent. So RW100 is the current page and you can change that. That's something that the user can input. And then RW101 reads the PDF and displays the total number of pages in the PDF. So I've added an ASCII input object and of course I have it addressed to RW50 the same as our uh, path for our PDF reader and, and also uh, we're writing 20 words uh, the same as a PDF reader. And then in this case, I'm using the file browser, which again can be found on the uh, objects tab and all the way over here, file browser. And I've got one made here. So um, you've got a couple of selections on this. So first of all, you, you define where the data is read from and you can define the formats that you want to read if you want to be specific. Uh, PDF is not one of the specific choices here so I'm doing all files. Now um, these addresses represent where the data from what you click or touch in your file browser goes. So we want to read the full folder and file name all in one uh, all in one set of sequential registers. Now you could break that up if you needed to. Uh, so you could use the same file selector for several different processes. But in this case we need the uh, folder plus the file name all in one string. Um, so this down here, don't worry about this, we're going to use this a little later in the video. So I'm going to add a couple of numeric uh, input objects addressed to our page control addresses. And uh, we'll go ahead and download this. Now that that's complete, let's uh, bring up our live project.
And uh, here you can see that uh, whichever file we select will display in the page. You can see our uh, file browser writes into this address here. And of course that's the same reading address for our PDF reader. And you can see it, it showed that this PDF has two pages and uh, we're on page one. And I can change that. You can see it changed to page two. And here we're back to page one. So it's as simple as that. Uh, let's move on to our one-click functions. Again, in the interest of time, I made uh, some pages ahead of time. So uh, I wanted only this PDF viewing area to show in my pop-up windows for my help uh, files. So I actually, let me try to, let me just temporarily delete this PDF viewer. So you can see here's my, my page and the size that I made it. Um, I'm gonna view this through, an, through a uh, direct window. So it will uh, be displayed by a bit value. And then I've uh, put a bit set object here LB0 is going to display this in the, in the direct window. So when LB0 is on, it will be visible in the direct window. And then when LB0 is off, so of course I put a uh, set off button on there. And, um, and it takes a uh, bit of time, maybe less than a second for the PDF to load when the, uh, when the window opens. So I put a static text object here on the window here to just show that it's loading. And, and that'll just show for a, a few milliseconds before the PDF loads. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, undo my delete there to keep it the same. So over here on our uh, main screen, uh, I just put some objects here just to have some here to ask questions about. And then um, I've got my help icons here. And uh, what I did with these, I used a uh, combo button. And in our, let me go back over here. In our uh, PDF viewer, the uh, file path is LW0 for our uh, first help page. And then our uh, second help, help page is uh, RW20. So um, I've got a, uh, oh, and we're using the same RW100 for the uh, page selection on both of those. So in our combo uh, button here to uh, open page one, uh, we're writing a one into LW100. And then we're setting uh, LB0 on. And uh, LB0 when it's on, we'll display this direct window and, and we'll display window 12, which is our help page one, or our help file one. So this other help icon I put here is another combo button. And um, so we, we are writing a two to our RW100. And of course, we're also setting uh, LB0 on. 
So this one is going to display our second page and our first help file. Over here, our uh, yellow help icons uh, represent um, our second help page. So you can see here we're setting LB1 on, which will relate to our second direct window. And of course we're writing a value of 1. And here we're writing a value of 2 and uh, setting LB1 on. So here's our second window. So I, I think you can follow where I'm going with this. Um, we uh, simply tell the PDF reader on the related page which uh, PDF page we want to display and that's done with the uh, with our combo button. So um, over here on page 11 um, what I've done is now if you remember our file path for our first help page was RW0 and our file path for our second help page was RW20 so I'm using the same uh, file browser that we used before we are writing the address to LW or I'm sorry RW50 and then um, I've added a uh, data transfer per page data transfer object and we're moving the value from RW50 to RW0 which is our help page 1 path address and uh, we're moving 20 words because that's the length of, of our ASCII data and then of course here we're doing the same thing uh, except we're writing to our help page 2 file path so let's bring our VNC viewer back up and by the way I am using VNC viewer because CMT viewer will not display PDF viewer so um, over here on our on our setup page I can select our first file help file here and you see that wrote it into this right here so I'm going to add this to our uh, manual one profile we'll call it and then I'm gonna select our help file 2 and set that as our uh, manual 2 address I can go back to our main page here and uh, select our help 1 and of course here's our help file 1 page 1 select this one and this is help file 1 page 2 help file 2 page 1 help file 2 page 2 and it's as simple as that thanks for watching and be sure to come back and see more of our instructional videos